What's up guys, Matt here and this is vlog number 52. Alright, today's vlog is going to be a really short one because it's a really easy question, but it's a great question. And Chastity had a question as far as how do you package and mail your vinyl car decals? Or how did you when you had the decal world and you were doing all vinyl car decals? Here's what I did. I, I made it as simple as possible, okay? Sometimes I had to custom order them because Staples wouldn't have enough of them, but then eventually I ordered them online. We didn't have the easy to access Amazon with Amazon Prime and everything like we do now, but most of my decals were around five inches by about five and a quarter by five and a quarter, somewhere in that range, okay? So what I did is there were, I think they were six inches by eight inches, little, um, vanilla envelopes six by eight okay and it was the perfect size at the time to where it just needed two stamps all right so i put the decal in there i a lot of people say that i put little things of cardboard in there to make sure that it doesn't bend and they do all these different things think about making it as easy as possible and as inexpensive as possible these decals they can they can last so if it gets a little bit wet when the mailman has it or or it bends a little bit any of that stuff it's not going to affect it it's going to be okay don't don't get all crazy into stuffing it with cardboard so it's kind of stiff and firm and it's not going to uh, bend when it's going in the mail don't worry about all that stuff Remember your cost that you have in the decal, right? You got nine cents in, in material cost. And then, honestly, the crazy thing is the envelope might cost more than the decal, right? And the, and the postage definitely does. But I didn't care about any of that stuff. I put it in the envelope, and normally those little manila envelopes, I could fit 25 or so decals in it 15 to 25 decals just in that one so a single decal or three or four decals Based on the weight normally took two stamps very easy drop them in there drop it first class mail And it was there in who knows five to seven days. All right And I wanted to make it as easy as possible and I wanted to make it as inexpensive as possible So I even just gave free shipping because I knew I only had 42 cents in the shipping so it got people to purchase them from me. It built my customer base. And here's the thing. If they called me and said that the decal got damaged, I made another one in two minutes. I threw another two stamps on it and I sent another one out. And I still had huge margins on it. Okay? Very rare did that happen. But honestly, probably the biggest problem with the whole first class mail side of it, there was no way to track it. And that was probably the most kind of annoying part of it. But again, I was sending out so many of these each day. I would send out 50, 100 of these a day and when I was getting crazy with them. And yeah, I know that out of those 50 or 100, two of them are probably going to get lost in first class mail. And the customer will contact me. Oh, no problem. I'm going to ship you another one right now. So I, I wanted to make it as simple as possible, as inexpensive as possible, and as easy as possible off the start. Now, you if I were doing it now, I would still probably do the same thing. However, I would also give the option of maybe a, a flat rate envelope that's four ninety five or whatever it is, and then possibly even if they want it overnight, but they pay for that expense, of course. So. Many options, but the question was as far as how I packaged it, I just dropped it in a manila envelope really quick. I threw a couple stamps on it, sealed it, put a little piece of tape over it, called it a day. All right. And I actually, at off the start, I would write their names down. Eventually, I got to the point where I could pull it from Equid, which was what I always tell you guys what I would use. Or at that time, eBay would just print out your, um, your packaging or your label for you. And that made it easy as well. And you could do like the prepaid postage on it too. So hopefully the vlog helped you out. <clears throat> hopefully it gives you an idea of different ways of packaging things. This was, again, this was nine, close to 10 years ago. So probably a little bit easier ways to do it now. But I tried to make it, I, everything I did, I tried to make as simple as possible and as inexpensive as possible. Especially when I was working with huge margins like that. So hopefully the vlog helped you. 
comment below. Give me some more awesome questions. I have a whole list already. I'm going to keep adding to it. Comment right here. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel right there. Check out all of the amazing vlogs to help you right there. Check out our latest video on our YouTube channel right there. And check out the website, therhinestoneworld.com, right over here. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have an amazing night. I'll see you tomorrow. Later.